Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you uh, some of the reasons that, uh, you know, make this device sucks, the Galaxy E7 here. So I already did a video about its top best things, uh, you know, which make this device awesome. So yeah, just quickly start off this video with the reason number one that why it sucks is that um, the GTA games here, the GTA San Andreas and the GTA Vocity is still not being optimized here. And yeah, a lot of young audience out there do do enjoy playing games on their phones, and um, and yeah, it is really not that good here in terms of these two games. If you want, if you have seen my gaming test, then you know that also. So uh, yeah, it, it is not good in terms of the uh, GTA games. They lag a lot. So it's been like a year has been passed since the Snapdragon 410 has been introduced, and still these two games are not optimized. Or uh, you know, or if maybe the Snapdragon 410 is not capable to you know load uh, that much graphics. So yeah, that is the number one thing that uh, this device sucks at. And also the second reason is that the camera app is a little bit boring. To be honest, because you know they should have included like 4K video capabilities or like slow motion and fast motion options that they have on their you know every other Galaxy S phone, series phones, S5 and the you know other phones. Maybe the S4 also comes with that features. Yeah, so they should have to make it and it is a pretty good camera by the way, it's a 30 megapixel camera but they have made it like a normal you know boring way. So they have changed it in the Galaxy S6 but I don't really like it and you know the Sony's uh, experience like I did a comparison so you can check that out on my channel so Sony's camera experience looks really great the way that you, you know they show you the features and their briefing and everything so that looks really awesome so yeah camera app is a little bit boring uh, that they should have to do it to make it a little bit better for an update that will hit and uh, yeah let's just move on to the third reason and the third reason is why this device sucks uh, a little bit is that it is um, not coming with a lollipop update but a lot of people are waiting including me and uh, Samsung should have to you know bring out the update for these devices and what I probably know here because I, I make a lot of news type videos if you are subscribe if you are my subscriber you already know that I made a lot of news videos and uh, still I haven't seen any news updates for this device here it's lollipop update officially which really sucks because you have to wait for about like one month or two months maybe you know for these type of phones that you get like mid-range phones they will definitely take a lot of time to you know receive the update officially but yeah it is good that we will get the update but definitely we have to wait a lot of time so um yeah, that's just it. That is some some of the reasons, pretty much random reasons why this device sucks. And yeah, again, another reason that I want to address here is the uh, lack of S voice or no voice recognition software installed on this one. You can see if I double tap the home key, you can see there's no S five S voice installed, uh, which really really sucks. I mean, no S voice, no party. Yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.